How neat would it be to have someone do a code review, check the code that you write, and have someone format your code for you to make sure that the code is consistent. This can be done with ESLint and Prettier. There's a, a quote by Rick Waldron that says all code in any code base should look like a single person typed it no matter how many people contributed. And this quote really apply. We want all the code that we write to look as if one person wrote it even if we have a large team. Luckily this can be done. Lint is a tool that analyzes our code. It is static code analysis. It was created to identify problematic patterns found in our code. And Prettier is an opinionated code formatter. So note this, that linting is the process of running a program to analyze your code to find potential errors. So the lint tools can analyze your code and warn you of any potential errors. In order for it to work, we need to configure it with specific rules. Now, it's not really wise to get into a debate whether there should be two spaces in every new line when you write a code or use tab, single quote, double quote, all that stuff really doesn't that much matter as long as it's consistent. So the idea is to have somewhat of a style guide and follow that style guide in a consistent way. So it was also nicely said that argument over style are pointless. They should be a style guide and you should follow it. That's how it is. Now, how can we make that happen? There's few things that we can take advantage of. First of all, Airbnb as part of their style guide provided an ESLint configuration that anyone can use and it became the standard. So Airbnb is using React and they created a style guide that became the standard and we will be using it. And also ESLint is already installed on the Create React app. So we don't even need to install ESLint, it's already built in, into our project. But it's not optimized with styling guide and for TypeScript. So we need to optimize it and set it up for TypeScript. To set the project with ESLint and Prettier for TypeScript using the Airbnb styling guide, which is the standard, we're just going to run one long command and that will install all the libraries that we need. Take a look. To install the libraries that we need, go to the gist github page at the, this URL below and then you'll have all the commands we need. So the first step is we're going to start install all the libraries. So if you copy that command and you go to terminal, you'll see that this is a, a big list of libraries that we're installing and they include the Airbnb style guides, they including a config ESLint for create react app, it includes a loader so we can um, import um, those plugins into TypeScript, it includes plugin for Bevel and other plugins for flow type, for just testing and to add the types that we need for the ESLint plugin and the parser. So that command will install all those libraries for you with one command. Let's fast forward to the completion of this installation. Now the installation is complete, go back to the page, you'll see that the next step is we need to, um, to configure the ESLint RC config file. And what we do in this step is we just edit the ESLint TRC so go back into your terminal and I'm gonna clear the screen and I'm gonna vim to edit my file and that file doesn't exist so we're creating it for the first time and take I'm taking those rules those are sets of rules that we want ESLint to check our project against so those are opinionated set of rules that we're going to have linked check for us and this can be configured to your coding style so this is set with the default but it doesn't mean that 
you need to keep it that way. That's my opinion and the way of doing it, but you can set your own as well. Now the next thing we need to do, and you can go back to the page and see to the GitHub page, we need to set an ESLint ignore. And that ESLint ignore, we're basically telling ESLint, don't do linting on specific files and folders. Now, in my case, I have additional folders that generate React CLI, template folder, and I don't want ESLint to go and check those things. So I'm going to add those libraries into our ignore file. And again, I'm going to press escape, calling WQ to save those changes. Now if you go back into the GitHub page, the next thing is also to set a set of rules for the pretty formatter. So we can set up stuff like, do we want to use single quote, do we want to use trailing commas, tab, with, or other things. So there's a lot of different options that we can set. So again, this is very opinionated and I won't judge you. You can do however you want, whatever format you want to set. You can go ahead and set that. But we just for now, I'm just going to set it with the default that I decided. Those format defaults. Then go back into the page and then we have... The last thing we want to do is we want to add two scripts so we can actually do a linting and formatting on our project. So we have three scripts that I'm adding. One is for linting, one is format, and one that I call is ready, which what it does, it run the format, run the lint, and run the build. So we can see if we're ready for production. So I'm going to copy those. I do vim and package.json file, and you look inside of my scripts, those are the default script that came with create react app and i'm gonna add to those the other three scripts just make sure it's formatted correctly here it's missing a comma and then escape and save that and now we're ready to give it a try so first clear the screen and then we're going to call yarn run lint let's give it a try and this will run that lint command from our package JSON file and do linting for us. So you see it found a problem. So it's missing a trailing comma in our index file. So we can go ahead and edit that before we go to production. And the same with yarn run format. This will format our file automatically for us. So it went and done formatting for us automatically. So now we're ready and it's set for us, we have linting and we have formatting.